Sai Kiran, obviously you are wearing the traditional Sikh bana and a turban. Many uh, Sikh women don't do that. Is it just for super religious Sikh women? To me, it's just basically, are you looking outside or are you looking inside? If you're always looking outside for verification of, well, am I beautiful in the sense of, I read People magazine, I don't see anybody in People magazine, you know, with anything less than full cleavage and, and you know, like lots of exposure and being free and being expressive. But the whole purpose of this life is that we're human beings. And anybody who's born as a woman, now if you're a young woman and if you think that you can get happiness by being sexy and free, that's a very limited place. And the more you go into that place of of being wild <laughs> and um, free, well, it's some point you get to, you say, wow, I wish I hadn't done that. I wish I hadn't slept around. You know, I wish I would have had that really precious time of saving myself for that one man that I did end up marrying and having that really, really wonderful experience of, um, having not been sexually active and sexually promiscuous. Because in the long run, it really doesn't give you anything. It just gives you a lot of freedom, a lot of expressiveness, and then, then when you really get into, why am I here on this earth? You're here on this earth because God gave you this life and God gave you this breath. And if you can know over and over and over again, this is why you're here. You're here to live in a God consciousness and having fun, you can have a lot of fun, but the fun is really about who are you? Do you know who you are? If some guy comes along and says, hey, you're gorgeous, like, hey, chick, you know, or whatever it is in your circle, how you talk, does that really give you lasting happiness? Or is that just, oh man, today I'm on, but, well, I'm really feeling pretty low today and um, nobody's giving me any compliments and nobody's paying attention to me. It's just like, so that's a very short-lived happiness. You have to find happiness inside yourself. You have to find self-esteem inside yourself. And if you want to feel beautiful, if you want to feel gracious and great, just graceful and gorgeous, then go inside yourself and be radiant, be healthy. If you exercise, if you um, read and get to know yourself and really love and find what makes you happy, not satisfying other people all the time, but what really makes you internally feel wonderful. You'll find that, you know, dressing nicely and looking good is important for a woman and you should look beautiful. But it's like, find it. Don't necessarily do away with all your principles and all your values because today, according to this magazine or that movie star, they're telling you what that's what beautiful is. But find this this gracious, this unchanging principle of what beauty is, is that you as a woman are beautiful by essence. You're beautiful by nature. Internally, you have so much light and so much creativity. So learn to find that inside yourself and express yourself, you know, in your clothes, but in a way that is, that really exalts you, not as a sex object, but exalts you as a princess. Um, exalts you as a goddess, not a sex goddess, but a goddess of consciousness, of, of spirit. Mangal Sajjadeya, Prabhya Pai.